Hi guys, good to have you all back. Are you up for some crafting? I sure am. Yes, I have a lovely project in mind for today. It is something that I've not done before, but I'm really eager to try it out. I was inspired by the wonderfully talented Marguerite Miller. Our names sound the same, but they are not the same. People keep calling me Marguerite, but that's not my name. Um, she is a wonderful collage artist. And now I've seen uh, an Instagram post the other day where she did grid journaling. Never heard of it. Never seen it. I loved her project a lot. I did a little bit of research, guys, but not a lot. Um, but, you know, I'm going to put my own spin on it, of course. So let me tell you a little bit about how this project will work and what I'm going to use. I am not an expert on grid journaling because I just found out about it yesterday. And uh, most of the sort of pictures I've seen on Pinterest, Instagram and some uh, YouTube videos, it's more like um artists that work with paint and drawings and and such but not with sort of collaging and i want to do a lot with collaging now this is sort of the concept you have a page where you put a grid on of squares or well, i'm going to use rectangles like six of them or nine of them and you can make a little art projects on them i thought it was brilliant brilliant i loved it so uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to make small little art projects on a bigger page using lots. I'm using this as a background. This is actually from a vintage collectible album. This is where you put the sort of cards in that you collected with cigarette cards, tea cards, chocolate cards, what have you. I uh, took them out of the sort of the binder, the spiral thingy. I kept them intact because I really love this. The, they are nicely discolored. And then I soaked the pages so that the images could come off. It did leave a little bit of the glue residue, but I think it's just interesting. So I'm going to use this. You probably don't have these, but that's okay. <clears throat> Take out a blank piece of paper. I'm just going to show you with this one. You could draw like a, a squares or rectangles just with a ruler and, and a pencil. Or maybe you have um, a stamp. A stamp. And make your own. Make your own. You don't even need to have them all the same size. You know, I'm a rebel. I don't know anything about this sort of uh, art form. But I really liked it. And uh, maybe you could, you know, draw a line around your... Make your own, lovies. Make your own. Uh, so I'm using this as a base. Now, for the decorating, I want to do some background uh, sort of stamping or stenciling. And then do some collaging. And have. An, I do want to have sort of a focal point on them. So for the stenciling. I have two of my stencils out. <coughs> oh, actually, this is a set. This is from Studio Light. I've used it um, a couple of months ago. Loved it. I'm going to use sort of abstract kind of basic shapes <clears throat> and then this set that i've also used um and i loved this sort of ornament and i love the flowers i did not love this one guess what i'm using this one yes because abstract and that's what i want to use so i'm going to use some stenciling <clears throat> i've taken out my favorite splatter stamp you could of course do this with paint and mixed media and all sort of messy stuff i am not going to um yes i'm going to do uh some diff different stamping but i don't know what yet guys i have almost all my stamps here uh probably some tim holtz or whatever but i'm gonna mention them and when i use them now i'm gonna do some collaging i'm using um uh, small scraps i have my box with small interesting pieces of paper for some collaging uh, and bits of bobs, of course. I'm going to use post-it stamps, labels, maybe some rub-ons. Don't know, do not know for sure yet. Um, <clears throat> there's something else that I'm going to use from Mr. Tim Holtz that is new. Yeah, I am going to show you real quickly what I have from his new Halloween collection set. I'm going to warn you in advance. I don't do Hall Halloween. I don't like Halloween. It's not my thing at all. Um, but there were some items in the collection that I really liked. So let me show you what I have. Sorry for the glare, guys. I have everything still in its packaging. These are the backdrops. 
I love his backdrops. They're like, you know, half of a paper pad. <laughs> um, Halloween. They're a little bit darker maybe. But there are no bats or skulls or spooky things on them. So that's why I like them. Then I have this set. Um, let me see. This was... Uh, layers and paper dolls. You cannot go wrong with paper dolls. Well, apparently they are supposed to be a little bit creepy. The paper dolls, maybe. I don't know. I don't find them disturbing or creepy at all. Uh, the layers are, the background layers are, you know, a little bit dark. But not necessarily sort of evil. It's a moon. I can work with a moon. Lots of these bats. Yeah. Oh. That's okay, that's okay. So, I have this from the collection. What else do I have? Well, the ephemera pack. I love this one. I love all his ephemera packs. Well, there are probably some... I believe there's. it says Bewitched and Wicked and such. That I probably won't use. But lots of other stuff that's in here I would use. Like this eye. I just, I, so, I have this one. Then I have the... These are the Baseboards and Transparencies. Really interesting. Especially... Well, I bought these for the... For the windows and the doors. I, I'm going to... Not in this project, guys. But I think I'm going to use them in, in some shape or form. Also, it has some of these sort of um, sentiments or just words. A lot of them I really don't like. Especially... Uh, daily Departed. Come on. No, not at the moment. No, thank you. Uh, and some transparencies probably used for, and I don't know the right terminology, guys. Vignette boxes that I don't make. But you never know. And there were a whole bunch of plastic um, bat wings. Also, not my thing. What I am going to use today is probably this, which is hilarious. Because I never use his um, sort of stickers, word stickers. But there are a couple of uh, interesting ones on here. Yeah. And I need to I need to use them. In the back as well, there were... Um, yes, skulls and witches' heads. But I do like these. These gentlemen heads. And some masks that you can put probably on the paper dolls. Or that could be interesting. <clears throat> and then two pages with um, these very old photographs in frames. Love those. And then some lace. I probably used those in one of the projects as well. So I'm going to use this. I When I moved my craft room from downstairs to upstairs, um, I also found a pouch. I don't even know where it is. Um, of fussy cuts that I did months ago. A whole pouch of, pouch of fussy cuts. And these all came from an encyclopedia volume. Yeah. So I might use some of these as well. Is that it for tools? Glue? Glue. For uh, stenciling and inking, I'm going to use um, sort of neutralish. I'm thinking neutralish colors. Just, you know, this. Tea dye, Fred Burlap, Vintage Photo, Ground Espresso. Just going to have neutral backgrounds. Um, and, and maybe something else. Who knows? Who knows, guys? Let's see. But first, uh, let's start... Making a, I need to make a sort of a, a template or a mask or something or other because my artworks are going to be in the frame, not outside of the border or, or the lines. You do you guys, if you want to go splatter all around, you do you. So I want to make sort of a border, a frame, so the stamping and the stenciling and such will not go outside of the lines. Yeah? Okay, let's get started because I really want to try make something pretty guys this is what i mean by making a template i just took out a uh, you know piece and then you can line it up like so so you could do some stamping and stenciling in this corner and if you want to do the other corner then you do it like so yeah just take out a sort of big square thing i am using a sort of heavier heavier paper for this now there is some glue residue on here i think it's interesting but it might not work. It might not work. So let's just see, guys. It's an experiment. I'm going to start with background stenciling. Yeah. There you go. Hi, babe. Jackson also wants to do some stenciling, I think. Um, 
I'm going to go tea dye. I'm going to go tea dye. Just a little bit here in the corner. Let's see how this works. Just a little bit like this. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to use some of these sort of this. <laughs> these sort of X's. You want to do it in a different color? I will have half of it on. Oh yeah, that'll look interesting. No, I'm going to do the same color. Just a tea dye. Oh yeah, see? I'm just going to do all of them. Do you want some of these? Sure. I'm probably going to cover a lot, guys. But it's just fun to play with your stencils. And maybe you want, you know, flowers in the background. Just do flowers. Do flowers, love. Whatever you want. Already like them. There's some glue. Well, did it sort of ink on the glue? I don't know. I don't know. If you are Dutchy, um, you probably have a vacada book or something like it. You could use that if you want to. Or make your own, guys. And if you want to have it a little bit more aged, do it on uh, coffee dye paper. Also, I have no clue what to use them for. Just gonna use them for fun. This is already, this has sort of a, a color on here, so I'll probably use a darker color, maybe. Let's see. So we do the big dots. We're gonna do the big dots. Will it show up? Oh, it will. Already can tell, it will, it will show up. Oh yeah, well that's quite all right. Let's have some. Elizabeth B. The name of the boat. These are the, these are boats, guys. Well, they were boats. So the names uh, on them are from the boat, apparently. Ooh, that's cool. I like it. Um, you want some more? I'm gonna do this. There you go. Well, I'm doing this. Um, guys, I am really behind on my on answering my emails. I, I apologize. I really apologize. Um, there are a couple of times today that I'm, think, um, that I'm thinking, do your emails. And then I go to the emails and I read your beautiful written emails with all the lovely well wishes, condolences and, and your stories. And... Um, they uh, uh they're lovely <laughs> but they do upset me uh so i just i cannot <laughs> at the moment i will i will at one point but you know they make me cry and i want to be sort of not reminded that's why i'm behind on my emails i apologize love it you could be done no you cannot be done you cannot be done um i'm also going to do some background stamping with uh the dots for this, I'm using a little darker, a little bit darker color, um, Freight Burla. Do we need this? We need this, yes. Oh, pretty, already pretty. some here and there yeah I might come back and do 
some more. Yes, is that it for the background for now? I think so, I think so. What's next? I don't know, I think I'm going to pick out six focal points first and then concentrate on that and then search for some beautiful papers to go in the background. Let's see what we have in the section of cutout encyclopedia stuff. Uh, smaller pieces, of course. Oh, that fits. That's a little bit too big. Too big. Big. Oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Gentlemen, there was another gentleman in here that I really like. Just this one. We're going to do this gentleman. It's going to be sort of brownish. I think it's going to... Oh, look. Yeah, that, that'll fit. I think I want to keep it in sort of the nutritious brownish color. A lovely owl. Oh, yeah. Could, is this something that we could use? Might be a bit too big. Now, what else do we have? Some more black and white. Big ones, all big ones. Oh, a, sh a shell. Yeah. Yeah. Is this one smaller? No, that was the big one. I think I have a smaller one as well. What's this? Just a lovely image. And let's see. See? That's just interesting. Just cut it out from a from an encyclopedia. I'm telling you guys, encyclopedia. If you can get your hands on one of them. Hopefully even for free. Wasn't this from Leonardo da Vinci or something? I thought I had another one of those. Um, sort of these ones. But small. Oh, is this the smaller one? I thought I had a smaller one. Way too big, way too big. Well, apparently I don't. I don't have a smaller one. Oh, that could be interesting somewhere. Let me keep this one as well. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yes. What do you guys think? Yeah? All sorts, but in a neutralish sort of color. Look at the one. I'm going to keep that as well. Okay, I think we're going to do this. Do we want two seashells? Just stack them on top of each other? No, 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 no. Yep. Too colorful. Okay, guys, I'm going to stick with these. Probably in a different order. Okay. And now I'm going to grab some um, poster stamps. I want some poster stamps. I'm going to take out some poster stamps and then some, you know, s s scrappy bits. See? Some scrappy bits. What's this? Yes. Okay. I've taken out some poster stamps and some bits and bobs for my small little boxes uh, first i'm going to start with the poster stamps oh there's a little bit of purplish in the b so maybe i'm gonna use this yes czechoslovakia yep big one the asian games from 1962 Behind the owl? Sure. I think I want to do all sort of neutral, sort of um, uh, brownish colors, yeah? Oh, and then uh, I'd rather have some bigger ones, bigger stamps. Ooh, that's interesting. Shall we do this with the sort of behind the ant eater? Do we need to remove this then? To cover up the tennis player? Don't know. Or we just do this. 
Yes, also possibility. <laughs> I do not want the, the stamps to line up. From Poland, Polska. Yes, one more. One more, guys, with feeling. Let's see. From Morocco, that could be pretty. I think I'm going to do this one. Yes. Yeah. Well, they all have a stamp. Now, for some, and let's go stamp. Stamps, go away. For some, I just took out some bits and bobs. Let's see if we can find something in here to put, you know, behind some of the stamps and such. Okay, scrappy bits, bits and bobs, odds and ends. I, I took this out of the pile with the encyclopedia. Oh, I think it's going to be lovely because there's a, another sort of piece of purple on here. Yes, I will cut it down because I do not want to work outside of the frame. But, you know, guys, work outside of the frame if you want to. Specimen label. On the top here, and then this. Okay, okay. Why are you so quiet? I don't know. <laughs> Now that is a lovely color. Will that work for me? Well, probably will. Oh yeah, I found this. Um, just a piece of ledger. I'd rather have something that has something written on. Ooh. Ooh. It says Fjordheim. There you go. Needs a, another something, but we'll find something. The big one. No. That's interesting. But where? Yeah, we need something with the owl. Big number label. Yes. I have the feeling I'm missing something here. But what? Maybe the ledger paper after all. Oh yeah, we'll do ledger and, and something here. No clue what this is. But I think it's cool. Are you doing okay, love? <laughs> Jackson is lying beside me on a small little bench. <laughs> oh, and number four. Do we have another number? With this. Lots of ovals on this one. And uh, how about here? I have something else. I have this one in a number. That's too colorful. Yep. Another box with small things.
trying to concentrate. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know about this one, guys. It probably needs a small strippy. Oh, how about this? Yes, I'm going to cut it. Yeah. But I think I also want to do a little bit more um, stamping in the background with, I don't know yet. Let's see. I'm going to take out some stamps uh, with probably some script or something. Yeah. Okay. Script. I have switched these two because there were like three numbers in I don't I don't like I like things asymmetrical. Okay, um I have taken out this stamp. This is the entomology, yes, and then the scripty one. Because it has nice sort of small scripty bits. Um how am I gonna do this? Okay, I'm gonna do a trick. <laughs> I'm going to do a trick. I'm going to take out another page and then put them on here. Like so. Yes. So I know what they will look like. Okay. Careful. I'm going to put them aside. And I'm going to be stamping a little bit. Where is my template mask thingy? Yeah. I want to have a little bit of stamping here and a little bit here. What am I using? Vintage photo. Vintage photo. A little bit here and then a little bit in that corner. Tiny bits, tiny bits. What was with the other one? Mm. Well, the bottom. I'm going to do the bottom part here. Part here. Tiny bit in the corner. No, there's a label there. So, tiny bit here. How about this one? There. Where did I put ink? I don't know. Putting ink here. There. This one needs lots on the bottom. A little bit. Yeah, and the last one. Got this one. Okay, I think this is it. Is it? Yes. Let's start gluing. Let's start gluing. I might add another layer still, guys. I might add another layer. Um, what am I using? Glue stick? No. I'm using art for this one. Okay, let's see. I'm going to start with this one. Yeah. I uh, also need a little bit of inking here. 
on this top. So this is going to be glued on like so over there. Is art the best thing to use? I don't know. Could have just used glue stick for this. But that's okay. Okay, this is the it's gonna go here, here, and it's gonna go on the top. And then this goes. Sort of underneath. Yep. The step is going to go there. It's always different when I glue it down. It's going to be completely different. Well, that's okay. As long as it's pretty. There we go. And the four. I'm also going to have a word sentiment thingy. Oh. Do we want the four on the bottom or a little bit floating? A little bit floating. Here's one. Okay, number two, start here. Did I bring my pin? Yes, guys, I brought my pin. There we go. Before I put the owl on, yes, I am going to ink this. Look at my rubbish cutting, guys. It's supposed to be an oval, looks like a, a rugby ball. I don't know, <laughs> looks like rubbish. No, a little bit over it. Yeah. This one. This is going to be a little bit tricky because I need to cut it somewhere. Need to cut the bottom off. Yes. Okay, Art, do your thing. Just a couple of dots. Bum, 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 bum. A little bit here, a little bit there. Yeah. And this one here. Beautiful poster stamp. Lovely colors. I 
think I'm going to cover the face of the soldier. Yes. It's gonna go here and then this one here. They always turn out different. I never put something down and then it's like the exact same way. And people told me you should put um you should take a photograph with your phone. Guess what? My phone's there. Yes, film me with my phone. So <laughs> this goes here, here, and here. Do we want to cover up the floor time? Gonna start with floor time on the bottom. Ooh, do not look at it. Do not look at it. I'm not looking. I'm gonna cover up all the stamping because I switched these two out. Smart. Yeah. This is actually a sticker. I believe this is a sticker. I do not know for sure, but I think it is. I think it is. Let's let's quickly check. Are you a sticker? Yes, you are. I'm hoping I'm putting you in the right spot. Sure. Yes. Yep. Two more. Also did a rubbish job cutting this one. Can I sort of trim it a little bit still? Try. I'm going to try. Looks rubbish. Also, I need to cut a bit off the top or the bottom. I'm going to put this one down first. Covering up all the lovely stenciling and yeah. Um, that's what happens. I think I'm cutting it up off at the top. Have it straight, love. Well, this is as straight as is it going to get. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like this. And then the post stamp was behind here. From Morocco. I was thinking about going on vacation to Morocco. Um, we are already planning vacations for the three of us. Me, my dad and my husband, of course. And... Um, I have always, I've always wanted to go on a cruise, guys. Uh, even when I was way younger, I don't know, uh, cruises are more for like old people. Well, that's what they keep telling me. I don't, I disagree. I disagree, you know, need to be old, right? So, um, yes, but now, because my dad is old people. <laughs> I'm sorry, dad, but you're old people. And we were a bit, uh, casually talking about uh, a holiday vacation next year. And uh, and then a commercial came on on the television about a cruise or a cruise ship. There was something with a cruise ship. And, and my eyes just lit up and I was like, hey, dad, do you like uh, a cruise? And he was like, always wants to go on a cruise. <laughs> so I told him, yes, we're going. <laughs> so... Um, I don't know if it's actually going to happen because happen because those are expensive and you know, but maybe maybe we're gonna go on a cruise. 
I think this is my favorite. Absolutely love this one. So we might go on a cruise. We just want to enjoy life, you know. Because it's short. Believe me, it's short. This was going to go here and here. And then I needed this piece of this. I'm going to cut it at the number 10. I think this is actually from a Tim Holtz ephemera pack. Looks like. Putting this one on first. We're going to start with a small cruise, like not like six weeks to the Caribbean. No, no, you know, somewhere more nearby. I like this one. Yep. Post the stamp. Is this an ant eater? It looks like an ant eater to me. Great. Let's see if we can put them on the ground. There we go. There we go. Oh, yes. Uh, words, sentiment, thingies. Let's go. Because I know it would literally take me an hour to go through all the sentences and things and pick something out. I picked something out, guys. Yes. So what did I do? I picked out a couple of these phrases or what have you. I inked uh, them a little bit and then glued them on a piece of coffee dyed paper to add a, a small sort of border on them. Yeah. So um, on the top we have in these very woods, because it's an owl, it lives in the woods. I try to sort of pair them with some, you know, phrases that made any sense. In the woods. Immortal beauty is still here. Well, okay. There we go. No clue what it says. Is something the matter? Okay, well, no. <laughs> there we go. An eccentric but very uh, estimable, estim I said a word, estimable gentleman. I don't even know what that means, but, you know. Yeah, there's a gentleman here. He probably was eccentric and whatever estimable or estimable. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the word, guys. I know a lot of words, but not that one. There you go. Contagious confusion. I well, I I'm confused. Are you? Is it contagious? <laughs> There you go. From time long passed away. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, stay down, Mr. Estimable. I need to look it up. Do I need anything else? I might do a little bit of splat, do you? Do you? Just no love, don't touch it anymore. I'm not touching it anymore. No, it's done. Let's look at the end result.
well, my first attempt at grid journaling or my interpretation of it. I have not um, been looking into it a lot, guys, so I don't know what it is really about. I am going to try to because I really enjoyed this process. It's just, you know, interesting. I like it. Let's look at it up close, starting with the owl. And I believe this is something sort of a coral or maybe something that grows in the sea. Yes, the lovely bee and the shell. The, uh, let's call it an ant eater. I think it's an ant eater. I don't know for sure. And uh, the lovely uh, eccentric gentleman. Um, nothing to do with one another, but still sort of in the same color range. So it is a sort of a cohesive sort of page. Liked it. Really liked this process. What would I do different? All the background stenciling just disappeared because A, I used a too light of a color. I need to uh, use a darker color next time. And also I need to concentrate the background um, decorating more on the borders, on the edges of the sort of squares or rectangles in this case. So that's what I would do different. But I love it. What will I use it for? Well, you can cut these up, guys. Cut these up, back them with coffee light paper or what have you and have them as journal cards or fold this in make it into a page in a tall skinny journal or, or do whatever you want to i just love the process um now what i would love to have is uh like this vintage album that is blank that doesn't have the cards in them because they are they are out there yes because you needed to push the cards in yourself so i'm gonna be on the lookout for this and, and really make it into sort of a grid journaling collage i don't know i don't know i'm gonna look into it guys that's it for today big thank you to marguerite miller for the inspiration it is i'm i love it i'm hoping she'll she's gonna do more and uh, i'm just gonna look into it what is what is it all about what are the things that you can do and such and i'm hoping you could maybe join me on this uh, lovely journey it is Friday, which means the weekend is here. I hope you guys all have a lovely, lovely weekend. I know Tim Holt is going to be on tomorrow, on Saturday, on YouTube. Be sure to watch him. I'm not on his team. No, no, I'm not on Tim Holt's team. Uh, but I'm, um, I am playing with some of his, um, well, toys. Let's call it toys. If you're interested in his toys uh, and you're within the EU, everything is available at Duoding. The link to Duoding is always in my description box. Um, so please go check it out. Guys, I'll be back again on Monday with another crafty video. So I'm hoping you can join me then. Until then, bye guys.